and welcome to our YouTube channel. Thank you so dearly for always supporting us. I really do appreciate. If this is the first time you are coming across this wonderful family, or you are seeing my face for the first time, I still remain Agatha Progress, bringing it to you back to back. Remember, we react to our videos and our opinion is highly needed. So just sit back and watch this video, and I will be right back. Muhammad Buhari, GCFR. Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I hope this message meets you well, sir. My name is Kanayo O. Kanayo. I'm an actor and a lawyer, and I hold the national honor of Member of the Order of the Federal Republic, MFR. So, on this occasion of my 60th birthday, I want to make an appeal to you as a son and a patriotic citizen whose industry contributes meaningfully to the nation's GDP. Mr. President, sir, this is not one of those appeals orchestrated by people to lend their voices. For it's common in our climb for people to urge celebrities and popular people to lend their voices to national issues or a growing concern. I am not lending a voice, sir. I am deeply pained by the loss of lives wanton killings and general insecurity in the land. The Southeast Geographical Zone is under siege. Someone may tell you it's what they brought unto themselves. As a son reporting to you, unofficially, every Monday is a sit at home, and every other day Mazin and Kano is to appear in court. Your Excellency Mr. President, the sit at home is very effective. Even government vehicles are off the road. Economic activities, sir, are paralyzed. Not good to be told otherwise, sir. The negative impact of this may be seen as only affecting the region, but Your Excellency, sir, it has a rippling effect on the entire nation's economy. Your Excellency, you are the father of the nation with numerous sons and daughters including Mazen and the Kano. Sir, the buck stops at your table. I know and I appreciate that Nandekano's case is before the courts, and you usually do not like to interfere with court cases. But at this stage of heightened tensions in our country, it is no longer enough to say that the matter is in court. You are a president with executive powers, my appeal, sir. Biko, release Mazen Nand Kanu. It's my 60th birthday appeal. Thank you, sir. And God bless you. And there will your excellency. The Bishop's Conference of Nigeria uh, is concerned, very much concerned, about the insecurity that we have in our country, Nigeria, today. And is also very sad and uh, uh, depressed, so to say, about the, the, the fact that many Nigerians have uh, undergone lots of violence from different people, the Boko Haram, the Iswap, the, the headsmen, and the different kinds of uh, violent groups. So it was decided that we would spend Ash Wednesday to pray for all the victims of violence, particularly to pray for the repose of the souls of those who have died. And we did ask that uh, people should wear uh, black dresses or black armbands or anything to indicate that, that sort of, uh, of mourning. It's also a way of calling the attention of our government to the dissatisfaction that we feel as a people, that government has not done as much as we expect of it to protect the lives and properties of people. In spite of so much money that has been put into it, and in spite of all the, the assurances that we have been receiving, any time any of this sort of uh, uh, violence happens to our people. But beyond that, we also think that it is important for the international community to recognize the fact that Nigerians feel a sense of uh, real 
real it's a real sense of uh, of uh, being under uh, aggression and uh, as it were we are beginning to feel that uh, the international community needs to 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 get involved in one way or the other to help us to take care of this problem because from all indications we uh, it would seem that the problems has overwhelmed uh, our government and the security uh, apparatus that we have in the country. We hope that uh, uh, because we are doing this with the best of intentions, we are doing what we are doing uh, not simply against government but simply to call attention of government to concern. We, are, we, are, we, are, we, we, we believe that no one will be so petty as to use this against any particular uh, individual. Anyone who uses it has been completely, completely unable to distinguish between, between people's rights to express their opinions and, uh, and the fact that people are just simply doing their job in whatever uh, government offices they work. So I, I, I believe that uh, uh, which I, one will be thoroughly disappointed if any reports come that uh, that uh, uh, that people are victimized because of this, and uh, and we would hope, we would really, truly, truly, truly hope that uh, that anybody who feels victimized should uh, should say it, such that uh, people can can uh, can intervene in whatever way that is possible. This is a good one for Buhari to know that whatever he's doing, people are watching and people are seeing him. There is no need for somebody to pretend when all is not well. If if people like Kanayo or Kanayo can be coming at pastors to say some kind of things, believe me, the Nigeria government, the corrupt people, all of them, they are going to change because they will understand that the truth can't be covered. They will all take off. They will all run away. So that is something that will soon be happening in Nigeria. People will start to spring up to speak for themselves without nobody speaking. All right, my wonderful family, I still remain a gutter. Progress, bringing you this wonderful update live and direct. My word, that brings us to the end of this beautiful update. Do wait to like this video, share and subscribe. The best thing for you to do is to join this family by smashing on that red subscribe button that says subscribe and turn on the bell icon for more latest updates. See you when I see you. From me to you, I say bye.